we're going to introduce you to one of the two common locusts that occur in Ohio. This is honey locusts. We normally start identifying trees by talking about leaves, but in nature at least, the most striking characteristic of this tree is often the thorns. It's not uncommon to have the whole stem of the tree covered with these multi-branched thorns. The species is Gladitsia, but the genus is Triacanthos, which means tri-thorned or multi-branched thorns. Um, very common in nature to find these in old pastures and along stream sides, and, and I kind of have the theory that cattle didn't like to browse on these too much because of the pain of these thorns. So you'll see higher numbers of those there, and typically down low um, near floodplains in natural settings. These trees have been bred to not have thorns and they're very common, in fact probably overused in landscape areas. So when they don't have thorns, um, they're actually a pretty neat and unique tree. One thing that makes the tree unique, it actually has two kinds of leaves. It can have these pinnately compound leaves, relatively short, maybe up to 8 to 10 inches long, with multiple little leaflets attached to both sides. So it's pinnately compound, little oval leaflets that occur on each side of the rachis. But you can also find, here's a better example, what we call bipinnately or twice pinnately compound leaves. On the same tree, often near the tip of the branch, you can find these leaves that have a central rachis and then they split and you'll have these smaller rachises with multiple leaves. I grabbed one earlier and started counting leaflet numbers and I got over a hundred and quit. So it probably had near 200 leaflets on that leaf. What's neat about these is these small leaflets, um, these have kind of an open nature so when you look up through the crown you're going to get quite a bit of light that gets through. So for a landscape setting when you don't have the thorns they actually let some light through and allow you to grow grass and a lawn underneath them. Buds are pretty indescript when you look at the twigs. Um, they're not fully developed yet, but they're not obvious buds. They tend to be hidden kind of below the surface. Uh, so there's nothing really to go by there very well. The other thing is great identifying characteristic in nature is you'll have these strap-like pods. It's actually in the bean family. So you have a bean-like fruit that splits on both sides. They're kind of like a strap and they can be pretty long. It's called honey locust because when you peel that open, uh, the pulp inside of that uh, bean pod is actually pretty sweet and uh, Native Americans and wildlife actually will use these um, and eat them especially in the winter after they hit the ground. Again this is honey locust in nature it's pretty uh, scary these thorns can be very painful uh, but in a landscape setting without the thorns it's actually a pretty nice tree but it can be overused. 